Critter Protectors, Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories. A place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! On the last episode, we saw that Cody was going out for his very first hunt with his parents. And it looks like they've seen something and are on the chase. If you haven't heard part one, you've got to start there because this is a mystery story. Which means there's a whole bunch of clues and you need to figure out what critter that Cody is. Well, let's see what happens next. Yip, yip, yip. Cody followed his parents as they were yipping. He was on his very first hunting trip with them. This was the big moment that he had been waiting his entire life for. All of his siblings were back at the den, and he was finally having his turn. Finally! They'd walked some time and even passed a field that was entirely burned down. Cody tried to learn from his mom and dad. He watched listened, stayed very close. But now they were making this yip, yip sound and he knew there had to be something about it, something ahead. He followed them closer and then he saw it. Cody, now's your chance. Get close, crouch down and get ready to pounce. Cody's dad was guiding him as a small mouse was scurrying ahead of them. One, two, three, pounce! And nothing. The the critter had scurried away faster than Cody could even see where it went. It's okay, Cody. Great try. His mom assured him. Cody hung his head. What if I never catch something? He whimpered. Chin up, son. Let's, Let's keep moving ahead. Cody's dad led them deeper and deeper into the tall trees. He was confident that Cody would have another try at this. Soon enough, the yipping started again. And Cody kept his eyes peeled trying to see what his parents were seeing. Their eyes were so good at seeing every little movement. And Cody wished his eyes were as good as his parents. Then out of the berry bush, he saw a rabbit. I've got to get it this time. Cody was determined. One, two, three and it was gone. He was becoming very discouraged. Dad, Mom, I'm not sure I'm cut out for hunting at all. Maybe I'd be better off, I don't know, being a different critter, something without paws or teeth, and maybe I should be a fish. Oh, honey, it's your first time. Be patient. Trying is half the battle. We believe in you. Cody tried to smile, and his mom gave him a playful little swat with her long tail. Up ahead, let's let's follow the creek back, and maybe we'll see some more. Cody's dad was very good at navigating, and he was also very good at staying focused. Come on, dear. Come on. Have you ever felt like Cody before? I know I definitely have. You know that feeling where it's just like, ah, oh, everything I try is not working. I feel like a failure. I definitely know that feeling. I have done a lot of things that haven't worked. But you know one thing that I've learned along the way? As long as you never give up, then it's never over. And if it's never over, then there's always another chance that maybe I'll get it right the next time. But hold on a second. We've got to solve this mystery. I've been... uh, Scraping my brain and I cannot figure it out. Can you please help me? (laughs) What is Cody? All right, he's got fur. It sounds like he has even paws and teeth. Remember, he just said that. He he said he wished he was a different critter without paws or teeth. Mm, And he has fur. You know what? I think I have it figured out. Cody is a horse, right? Yeah, like Cody... Has He's tan. He has tan fur. Horses have tan fur. I don't know if that's fur, but Cody 
Wait, you don't think Cody is a horse? Oh. Hmm, horses don't have paws. You're right. They have hooves. And, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I don't think a, a horse would crawl down into a den. <laughs> okay, let's start over. That was not correct. I need your help. Do you know what kind of critter that Cody might be? Wait a second. Did somebody say coyote? Could Cody be a coyote? You know, uh, okay, Cody has paws and teeth, and so do coyotes. Coyotes have tannish fur. They they can hunt together with friends or by themselves, and they live in dens with their babies. Yes, Cody is a coyote. Great job. Woo, I could not have figured that one without you. I was heading in the wrong direction with my horse guess. <laughs> oh, wait. Now that we know he's a coyote, let's see what happens in the rest of the story. Come on. It was getting late in the night. Very late. After all, they did start at dusk to keep from being seen. Cody was starting to yawn, even. He wasn't used to walking and pouncing this late. <sighs> they almost circled back, but came to a tricky place. The creek had widened quite a bit and curved around a large bend. They were going to have to jump for it. Cody being young didn't have as much distance in his jumps. Dad, I'm I'm not sure if I can make it. Cody was very hesitant and didn't feel like he could clear the water. He was feeling a little scared as the water started to rise. Don't worry, son. Let me go ahead first. Cody's dad could tell he wasn't quite ready to jump, so he assured him. His dad ran ahead, and all four legs leaped off the ground and across the water. He cleared four and a half yards. Wow, Dad. Nice jump. Cody was impressed. Thanks, son. Now, now hold on, his dad said. He went towards a fallen branch and pushed it over so it went across the creek. Watch the thorns, but this should get you across, his dad shouted from the other side. Cody carefully walked across the slippery branch with his mom. He watched his step and... Ouch! Ugh! But didn't watch it well enough. He was glad he had a safer way across, but that thorn was now stuck in his paw. Ow, ow, ouch. Oof. Cody's paw hurt. Now hold still, Cody. Let me get that thorn out. His mom used her teeth and pulled the thorn out quickly. As soon as it was out, Cody felt much better. He gave it a little lick and tried to walk it off. Come on now, Cody. You'll, you'll be okay. Shake it off a bit and let's get you home. They were almost home when Cody started to become sad. And not sad about his paw. He just really hoped that he would have caught something on his first hunting trip. Then just up about 10 yards from his home, his parents started to yip again. Yip, 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 yip. He saw it. It was a vole just ahead. Come on, Cody. You got this. His parents both whispered. In one quick movement, without Cody even thinking about it, he jumped out and got it. His very first catch. He proudly carried the vole home and everyone was so happy and impressed. All of his siblings crowded around, cheering him on. And even his Aunt Marge told him how proud she was. His parents told the story about his perseverance, about never giving up. It had truly been a great first hunt. The end. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. Wow, wasn't that a great story about Cody the Coyote who never gave up? Have you ever seen a coyote in the wild before? Whoa, they're pretty amazing critters. They normally live in dens about six feet wide and four feet tall. They're very smart critters and can dig their very own burrows. Or sometimes they borrow those of woodchucks or badgers. <laughs> That's pretty silly. Well, friends and my critter protectors, I hope you all have a very super duper day. And I will see you on our next adventure. Bye!